The scripture reading for today is from Numbers chapters 3 and 4 and Acts chapter 25. And the verse that really stood out to me were verses 9 and 10 of, of Numbers chapter 4. Uh, sometimes when we get through these books like Leviticus and Numbers and we get into all of the oh, the various countings of people and who was head of this and the kinds of sacrifices and what all the, the various things meant, it gets a little bit tedious as we read through those things. But Every word is inspired by the Holy Spirit, and uh, these men wrote as the Holy Spirit carried them along, in this case, Moses. And uh, I believe that these words are inspired, and there are things there for us to find. And today's one of those little seeds that I want to try to plant uh, as we look at the Word of God. Here's what Numbers chapter 4, verses 9 and 10 say. And you shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are given entirely to him from among the children of Israel. So you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall attend to their priesthood. But the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Now, the office of the priest we're learning from this passage is so, so sacred. It was to be treated with dignity, with respect, uh, hallowed, you might say, even. No outsider was ever to presume to perform any of those duties. Uh, there are instances when we get over into the book of Kings where some of those things were practiced by the northern ten tribes. Not too successfully, I might say. The priests who performed those duties were to do so with diligence. Uh, their duties were specific, and they were not to be altered. It just shows, once again, God is a God of detail. We need to be strict in our in obedience to what the Lord says. And so we are to serve the Lord with diligence, with dignity even. As kings and priests to God, we are to represent his plans and his purposes with joy, not out of compulsion, not out of uh, dead duty. We are to see our responsibility not as obligatory, but to view it as a privilege, the privilege that we have of serving the Lord. And I, my concern is that I think sometimes too many today are functioning, uh, but they're not doing it with any joy. They have started the journey, uh, are continuing on, but, but not really growing in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord. Uh, it, but it requires discipline. Sorry to bring that word up. Uh, but just as the priests were to maintain the things of the tabernacle, so we as priests are to maintain our own lives as holy unto the Lord. And the only way I know to do that is to continue to be in the word on a regular basis, to study, as Paul told Timothy, to show yourself approved to God, a workman who needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so just as they were to maintain, we need to maintain. All this All this was done in the Old Testament as an example for us, to the nations, for us and to the nations around them of what Israel was, that they were a, a different people, a separated people. They were to be a constant testimony of God's goodness and of God's grace, just as we are to be. So my question for us today is, how are we doing in that regard? Uh, we made it maybe uh, through Leviticus, and now we're into numbers, and boy, we are getting into all these numbers and the various uh, uh, men that were ready for war, uh, over 600,000 of them and the various tribes and how they were to set up the camp and all those things. Uh, what's that all about anyway? But here's the thing. How are we doing with it? Spiritual discipline is necessary to be maintained. We need to practice spiritual discipline, our spiritual disciplines. Uh, being a disciple implies that very thing. So in, in this age that we are living in, the time that we are living in, man, it is ever, ever so easy to be distracted from that. And I want to encourage you today to look, to search, as you, though you were looking for, uh, digging for gold, look into the scriptures, take time to meditate. Uh, Psalm 1 tells us that, th that the person who meditate is blessed. They're like a tree planted by rivers of water, bring forth in, in season. And whatever he does prospers. There's benefit in spending time in the word of God. Don't let anything get you away from that. Stay in the word each and every day. And God will bless you and he'll give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding and discernment. You'll be able to see what's going on and know the signs of the times that we are living in. I believe, dear friends, we are getting close to the coming of the Lord. So now more than ever, we need to be ready. Be looking up. Be encouraged today. Get into the word. Study the word. Spend time with the Lord. And God will bless you as you do that. May the Lord richly bless you today, I pray. Amen.